In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a banner link image on top, which is going to replace this link, and hopefully everything will look pretty decent at the end, although it's just the start. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is import whichever image you're going to use. You choose File, you import the image, name it to whatever you want, pick JPEG or PNG, depending on which one it is, and I mean, I would name it banner image just to make it easier so you know what you're looking at in the code. And then you'll be able to use it for your subreddit. We're going to start off by doing dot reddit name A in order to access this link right here and do whatever we want to it. We're going to start off by giving it a background. The background is going to be this picture right here. It's going to be the background of that image. Now, if we just saved it now, you'd see that it just became black. This is the picture right here, but of course the words are black, the picture's black, so it just looks like it became a black line. We're going to put a bunch of more lines of code to hopefully make it into an actual decent looking picture. So we're going to set the height to 200 pixels, and the width to 1500 pixels, and the we're going to set it to float left. The float property, position property, will just basically say push it to the left side, and that's where it's going to be. We're going to access header bottom left and set the height to be, say, I think if we put it the same height it should be fine, but we'll just do 240 just so we can see the overlap just in case. And leave that as that. And then uh, also in the reddit dot name we're going to change the text indent to negative 9001 pixels. And that will take the actual words and just throw it all the way across to the left very far and you'll never see it again. The next thing we're going to want to do is access the tab menu. We'll get that by doing header bottom left tab menu dot tab menu. That's the selector. And setting up our brackets over there. And we're going to want to set the position as absolute which will basically let us put the tab menu wherever we want. So we're going to set the tab menu position to be left at about 50, 40 pixels. And that'll basically put it like right here. Instead of right against it, it'll be like 40 pixels in. And we'll set the bottom to zero, so it'll just stick itself to the bottom of the header. Now, it's usually going to work. We'll see if it works. So, seemingly, possibly worked. So, okay, so this is what we got. We have the image. The header did not increase. So what I forgot to do was add the hashtag selector in order to actually make this do anything. So to know to let it know that it'll access this and you know increase the height. If we save that, it'll increase this to here. Hopefully, this will come down with it, and that's what we got. So we're gonna decrease the header again. We'll make it the same size as the picture, and now we have it running flush to the bottom of the picture. The next thing we're gonna do is move the Reddit alien dude over to here. Now, the question is, how do we do that? So, if you want to try to figure out how to move it, you do inspect element. This little guy pop up, and you'll see here that in order to change it, you're going to want to access this. Hashtag header uh, dash image dot default dash header. That's going to be your way of editing what happens to this guy. Now, if let's say you edited the height, the width, let's say we edited the width down to 60 pixels, we're going to get the RE. So let's see what we have to edit to to just get the alien. So here, if we edit it down to 30 pixels, we'll get just the alien. 
still a link though and we can use that which is great so that's what we're gonna do we're going to use this plop it into our code change the width to 30 pixels now what you want to do if you're overriding something just in case do an exclamation point important that will say like this is the most important thing it doesn't matter what anyone else says don't listen to them I know what I'm talking about okay so hopefully that'll change the width to an alien size boom alien size now we're going to set the position to absolute just like the tab menu and then left one pixel so it'll be right against the edge and nothing happened because I spelled position wrong there's an eye in there boom right at alien on the top left corner now if you want to get it so as you can see this what this looks like right here now if you want to get it down to the bottom you just do the same thing as the tab menu you do bottom zero colon save poof now it's on the bottom so now we're just gonna change this tab menu back to let's say where's tab menu tab menu it's 100 pixels we'll set it to well that thing's 30 pixels so we'll set it to 50 and that is pretty good we can even get it closer maybe to get it a more symmetrical look and you know we'll move the red guy over a couple of pixels maybe maybe put him like five pixels in and now we have this picture and this picture now we're just because just to sh show you so you know how to do it let's say you know I don't like the fact that it's just like a stick of butter up here so I wanna see the rest of the pancake how would I go about doing that you might ask well I would answer you it's pretty simple what you want to do is go to your background URL and change background position. That's the property you're looking for. Now, whatever you change it to, that's where it's going to set up the position to be. So, you know, just play around with it. We'll set it uh, 5 pixels and negative 180 pixels. And now if we save that, I'm pretty sure I spelled position wrong again because my mad skills. So now we're getting there, you see? We're getting towards the nice pancake part of the pancake. And if you change it, you can see which direction it goes in. Like if you raise the first one, it's gonna move to the right. If you made it a negative, it would move it towards the left. So let's make it negative 10. And we'll keep increasing this until we get to the size that we want. Not the size, well, just the actual picture part. Let's just change this to like 500. Boom! Pancakes. Although it hit the bottom of the image, so that's kind of awkward. Yeah, so now we're going to increase the width because I still have a lot of black section on here. Anywho, we're going to move on to getting rid of this color and the little border here so we can have a more smooth uh, banner going on up here so what we're going to want to do is make a header block and this is basically how we can change what goes on up here so we go to the header block and we set the border to none and the background to let's say we can make it anything we want change it to white expected a semicolon instead of a colon okay so as you can see this is gone and the border is gone now this is the very easy way on how to change the background to whatever color you want it to be. You go to inspect element, you've got the header bottom left activated, and what you want to do is find, here, we'll go to header, what you want to do is find the background color, that's what we just edited, and you see this little square here, you access the color wheel, 
and now we can change the color to whatever we want. So I feel like we should just try to get the same color as the one we're using with the pancake. And yeah, that's close enough. Whatever. Close enough. So now we can copy in this code and it'll replace the color. That's the only thing that changed is it went from background white to background RGB with a certain RGB thing to it. And now it's black. And it goes forever. And it almost blends in, even though it doesn't. But whatever. So this is our masterful banner image. That's what we've got so far. And um, I will do background images in the next video.